Hi everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Today I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas. I'm just going to do a straight pour on it today. And um, I do have a base coat down of the Rust-Oleum Metallics Champagne, and I'll show you that color. And I'll go over the rest of my colors. I have Rust-Oleum Metallics Ruby. I have the Rust-Oleum Metallics Glacier Blue. Rust-Oleum Metallics Copper Penny, and I added two drops of Golden Burnt Sienna, the high flow with that, just to darken it up just a little bit. I have the Rust-Oleum Metallics Real Pewter, and again, I added two drops of the Golden High Flow Carbon Black, just to dark darken that up a little bit. My next paint is the Rust-Oleum Metallics Bronze Metal. The next one is the Rust-Oleum Metallics White Pearl. And my last paint is DecoArt Extreme Sheen Deep Sapphire. My pouring medium today is, I did use the mix. I'm really enjoying using the mix. So it's seven parts of the mix to one part of paint. And I did thin my paints a little bit, probably with about five drops of water each. No silicone is added today, and I'm just going to um, do, like I said, a straight pour in one cup. So I'll just put my cup in the middle here to fill it, to make it easier for me. So let's just get started with layering here. And if I have negative space today, that's, that's fine. Just gonna pour it more or less down the side. I do have a little bit of my base coat left, so I might as well put that in there too. particular order. Sapphire Blue was a last minute addition. I just, I love this color and I just thought it would really make this painting pop. And while I have a few minutes, I just wanted to let you know that I really am enjoying using the mix. The paints are very creamy. You use a lot less paint, although you do, it is an expense to use more of the pouring medium but you do use a lot less paint, no lumps, and it dries fantastic. It, it dries as crisp as it looks when it, it's wet. I've had no, no cracking or crazing, and I used to use GAC all the time, GAC 800, and I haven't been using that lately either. 
So, so far so good. And if I do run into um, any issues, I would be sure to, to pass that on as a warning. Finishing up my paints here. Love this ruby color too. Such a vibrant, vibrant red. Okay, got a little bit of this light blue left. bit of the pewter and I believe just a little bit of this white Okay, like I said, it's just going to be a straight pour. And I am going to smooth this out a little bit. Okay. Okay, so let's start pouring. This is the trickiest part for me is to get the, just to get that real nice at the end. Not bad. Okay, I'm gonna give it a quick torch. Okay. And now I'm gonna start the tipping and I'm gonna try and go slow, just to see what I can come up with here. You tr always try and bring it back to the middle. Bringing it down towards me a little bit here. Hopefully you can see most of this, and if you don't, I apologize for that. Bring it back to the middle. Okay, 
try and get a little closer down to this corner. And bring it back. I can tell you right now what I do like, I have lacing in here and I really do want to try and keep that with the ruby and the white. So I'll go down to this corner. And I'll bring it back to the middle. Okay, now I'm going to bring it to this corner here, this far corner. And I will take it over this corner and bring it back. Bringing it back into the center here. Okay, just going to take a look at it here a minute. Okay, I'm going to bring it to this corner. And I do not want to lose a lot of that blue there. So as you can see, I'm tipping it back up and over. And now I'm going to give that a, see if I can try and get it over this corner. Okay, and bring that back. And I will bring it back to the center. More or less. Okay, and now I'm going to bring it down to this corner here very carefully. And bring it back. I think the further you stretch out these lines, the, the prettier it is. It's just beautiful. Okay, I'm going to try and tip it this way a little. First, I'm going to see if I have any paint left in my cup. I really don't want to lose very much of this here on the corner. So I'm going to add what I have left here to help it move. and save some of that. Okay, Let's see what we can do here. Okay, and bring that back.
bring this more down. I'm going to go straight down with it here. Just run a little bit of paint off down here. And then bring it back. And I'm going to take a look at it. I'm going to take a look at my corners here. My edges. Just looking at the composition of this. Just going to bring it down just a little, just a little bit here. Without running off any of the paint. There we go. That's better. Okay. Check this corner here. See if I have some blue to match it. Okay, and I'm just cleaning off the bottom as I go. And composition wise, I think I would want it to go this way. Okay, let me clean off my hands. I'm going to give it a torch. And then I'll bring you down and it's just, this mix is just wonderful. And, and when I bring you down for a close up, just pay attention to these lines and it, it's, it has quite a lot of depth to it. You can see that the bright ruby on top and then the muted ruby underneath and, and just the lines through the white and, and also the blue. It's just beautiful. Let me give it a torch. Another thing with the mix, I don't find a lot of air bubbles. I did mix my paint last night and let it set overnight, but there are very, very few air bubbles to, uh, to pop. And now I will get you down for a close-up. I'm just fixing my sides as I go along here. Okay, let's get you down for a close-up. This is the upper left-hand corner. And hopefully you can see some of that shine from all these metallics I used today. Just bring you down the left-hand side here. Very pretty in here. And here you can see some of the shine. That's the lower left-hand corner. And let me bring you up the middle. It's just beautiful in here. 
just look at the definition of those lines, the ruby and the blue into the white. Very pretty. Just a lot, a lot of really pretty areas in this painting. In here. See how you got the faded ruby in the background? Just gorgeous up in here. And this is the upper right hand corner. It's one of my favorite spots is right in here. And right here, look at that definition of just that ruby line going through there like that. So pretty. And I did want to keep all this white in this in this painting because everything that had run through it is just so pretty. And this is gorgeous down here too. One of my favorite spots. This is the lower right hand corner. Just all these beautiful colors together. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Make sure and share it. That would be great. Uh, give me a thumbs up and um, subscribe if you haven't. That would be great. Um, until next time, take care, everybody, and bye for now.